All right, everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. And today we're tackling a question I know a lot of us have pondered at some point. Yeah, it's a big one. It is. Can you actually make money by creating an app? It's a question I get a lot. And honestly, I bet it's not a simple answer. I wish it was. Right. If it was, we'd all be sipping cocktails on the beach, right? Exactly. But look, app development, it's a business at the end of the day. Like starting any business. Yeah, you've got risks, you've got rewards. You got it. And a whole lot of factors at play. So when you talk about those factors, what are we really talking about? Well, think about the app stores. It's like, have you ever just browsed and been completely overwhelmed? Oh, absolutely. It's a jungle out there. Yeah. It is. I mean, there are apps for everything. Right. Seriously, everything. And that's the thing. It's both the beauty and the beast of it all. How so? Well, on one hand, it shows the potential. People are making money, clearly. Right, right. But the challenge is standing out. When you've got millions of apps, what makes yours the one people choose? So it's not just about having a great idea. No, not at all. It's about finding that sweet spot. The right market. Exactly. Like, are you going after a huge market, something like photo editing? Tons of competition there. Or are you niche? Maybe an app for, I don't know, underwater basket weaving enthusiasts. Okay, I'm not sure how many of those there are, but I get your point. Less competition. Right. But then, even if you have the perfect app, the perfect market, there's still the how. How to actually make money. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going with in-app purchases, subscriptions, ads? Each with its own, what, challenges? Yeah, definitely. So I get why you might compare it to, well, a gamble. Is that a bad way to put it? No, not necessarily. There's always some luck involved. But it's more than just buying a lottery ticket and hoping for the best. Okay, so how do we tilt those odds in our favor? Research. Understanding the market. Really nailing down what problem your app solves and for whom. So if someone's listening to this and they're like, okay, I'm fired up, I have an idea, what's their first step? Three questions. All right, lay them on me. Number one, what problem does my app solve? Simple. Right, I, straightforward enough. But crucial. Then who's my audience? Who am I making this for? Got it. And finally, the big one, how will this make money? The business side of things. If you can answer those, you're off to a good start. But I think there's something else to consider too. What's that? Sometimes the best apps, they weren't built just to make a quick buck. Oh, I see what you're saying. Passion projects. Yeah, like think about Calm, the meditation app. Huge, right. Hugely successful. But it started with a genuine need. They wanted to help people find peace, relaxation. And it resonated. It did. Uh -huh. So maybe instead of chasing millions, the question is, what app would you pour your heart into, even if it didn't make you rich? So following your passion... Even if it's a little niche? It might just surprise you. And hey, even if it doesn't turn into the next big thing, you've created something meaningful. And that's a win in my book. Yeah. Absolutely. Food for thought for all our budding app developers out there. All right. That's another deep dive wrapped up. We'll see.